Hello. So, as you may or may not be aware, I spend a good a good portion of my life one thinking about the existential abyss and two thinking about the apocalypse. Um some of you might think like, oh, science fiction, crazy, thinking about the apocalypse all the time. But if you really think about it, the apocalypse is going to happen. Like, in the history of Earth, humans have not really been around for that long. And in the history of Earth, we won't be around for that much longer. Like, it probably, hopefully, won't happen in our lifetime. Although it would be kind of cool if it did. Um, but it is one day going to happen. There just won't be any humans anymore. Um, which is you know, a little bit cray, as the kids are saying. Um, if it does happen, it may happen like this. Um, probably not, but if it does, like, you all owe me a Pepsi or something. This poem's called Arachnid Apocalypse, and it goes like this. Arachnid Apocalypse. When the spiders come, our faces will be the first thing they eat. The clouds will split and unleash the arachnid apocalypse. Every human is an earth, and all of our tears are raindrops. I can taste the sadness in the water. After our faces are gone, we'll all go on living. The spiders will destroy the city and rebuild it using the webs. The skyline will be the same. The spiders will use our bodies as bricks and we'll all go on living. I sometimes dream in band-aids. I sometimes dream in safety pins. We will have holes in our heads where our noses used to be. While our bodies are bricks, we'll poke our brains through the holes. No one will ever be sad. We'll eat the faces of our children. We will forget the faces of our lovers. We will put band-aids over the holes where our noses used to be. We will all go on living. The spiders will eat our eyes, but no one will be there to tell us that we're blind. So that was the poem, Arachnid Apocalypse, based on a true story. Thank you for watching.